when you want to become android or ios developer at the moment two important framework you might be looking into that is flutter as well as a react native so these two frameworks are really good to build android applications and it will be cross platform applications so it will be working in ios as well as android also so you don't have to have like two two different code bases with different languages in order to maintain a android as well as ios application so now the question is whether you should learn react native or flutter in order to start your android development development or even ios development career so for now let's just talk about react native so react native is an android application building framework where it will be using react in order to code all the things and it will be converted into native android or even ios application so now when we are talking about react native it's obvious that if you know react then it will be easier for you to get started with it because in the end you will be just using react only so all the use effect and use state all those things will be present as well as you can use context and redux and all the other technologies if you already learned it in react so only change in this particular thing is instead of using div and all the other class and all you will be using view and text and all the other component which will be present in android so other than that everything is same you just have to create new component and it will be visible on your mobile application and if you want to access some android features there will be apis which you can use directly by importing it and and some hooks and all also will be available if you want to use it or in the end you can use even component in order to get uh, maybe bottom navigation drawer and uh, even uh, top navigation and all those fancy things uh, which is present on uh, this mobile applications so if you are familiar with react then obviously it's a good choice for you to get started with the react native in order to build a mobile application and you can get started with the building mobile apps so that would be it for uh, react native so now let's just talk about flutter the thing about flutter is uh, it's created by google uh, and uh, the biggest advantage of flutter i can see over react native is uh, how easy it is to create one application in it uh, and how easy it is to set up all the things inside it uh, and maybe even animating it is also really good all the material component and all will be available easy to use in that particular flutter framework uh, and uh, most important thing is uh, you don't need to have lots of node modules and all whenever you are using uh, flutter because in flutter uh, all the other technologies will be used and i feel like it is much stable than comparatively to react native whereas in react native lots of things will go wrong whenever you are building sometimes even if you do everything fine it will not work properly so that's why using something like flutter at that particular point is good so if you already not familiar with react or like all those concept of web development then flutter would be good choice because whatever the language which you will be using for coding it will be called as dart and that particular language is object oriented language and if you already learned something like c++ or java in your college days you'll be easily able to understand this particular thing and building ui with flutter is like really cool thing with all the widgets and all so that's why if you are not familiar with react or all those technologies it's always better to get started with flutter because flutter provides you that much clean development experience and creating one new flutter application is so fast and running it also is so easy so that's why i would highly recommend you to try flutter if you are already not familiar with uh, all these uh, react native and web technologies so now in order to wrap up this video flutter or react native which is the best the answer to that is depends upon you because some people like to use react native and they love creating in it they feel it's so easy because they already know react whereas some people are like a flutter is so good because all the development things and all inside it is easy and you don't need to install thousands of modules in order to get one particular feature because it's created by google only so that's why they have like built into it lots of amazing things whereas in react native you have to install each and everything in order to get some functionality so that's why flutter is good in terms of using it for like all the other cases whereas react native is good if you are already familiar with react as well as you have already knowledge about web development so if you are new to this particular field then i would highly recommend you to get started with flutter because it's easy to learn and easy to build all the ui things inside it whereas when you are getting started with react net you need to have some knowledge about web development as well as react knowledge will be necessary in order to do stuffs inside that particular framework so in the end it's up to you which you want to choose but if you are familiar with web development and react then it's good choice to start with react native if you are not familiar with it and if you are new to this particular field and maybe you are just getting started in mobile development flutter will be right choice for you so that's
that's it for this video guys if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this see you in the next video bye bye